Hi, my name is Joyce Weston, and I'm running for my second term to the New Hampshire House in District 8, which serves Plymouth, Hebron, and Holderness. I served on the Commerce and Consumer Affairs Committee last term, uh, which is a very busy committee. We deal a lot with insurance and banking. We also deal with things like whether you can take your dog onto the patio of a restaurant, uh, whether your insurance has to pay for fertility care or long-term Lyme disease treatment. Um, we deal with things like whether you can drink beer in a winery or wine in a brewery. There are a lot of interesting issues and I'm looking forward to getting back again next year to pick up where we left off. We lost a lot of legislation because of the COVID pandemic. I enjoy this committee a lot and I think I can work across the aisles. I feel that the Republicans, the Libertarians, and the Free Staters on my committee were my friends. And we did sometimes, we often ha uh, we had bipartisan support of legislation. A lot of what we did just kept the departments in the uh, state government running smoothly. But there's another reason I want to go back to Concord this year. I feel that the climate change issue has really finally uh, taken hold. People have woken up to this problem. But where is New Hampshire standing? We're like the donut hole. All the states around us, Maine, Massachusetts, and Vermont, and Canada, all have robust climate action plans. They're all working to get to net zero in greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2050. It's embarrassing to me that New Hampshire hasn't done anything. We had a very solid climate action plan set up in the year 2008, but since then, all of the legislation that we've passed has been vetoed by the governor. So we really need to get back and make this work. Even China's woken up. They have a full-fledged plan now. The world is aware of this situation. So I've already submitted uh, legislation for next year. I'm going to be the prime sponsor on the New Hampshire Climate Action Plan. I worked with a couple other legislators over the summer, and we worked with DES, the Department of Environmental Services, to set up this plan. It would give DES the ability to do a analysis of greenhouse gas every five years then to create a plan uh, to get to net zero by 2050. And finally, to report back to the governor and the legislature every two years on progress on their plan. I think that would bring in some accountability to uh, the DES. So I hope that you support me in this. I'm hoping that, you'll, that I can count on your vote on November 3rd, or if you feel uncomfortable going to the polls, I hope I can count on your vote earlier by absentee ballot. Thank you very much.